Now sa video na ito, we are going to discuss average true mean draft. Why do we need to find the average true mean draft of your ship? Well, we've got two main reasons. The first reason why we have to compute for average true mean draft is when loading or discharging of cargo takes place, its hydrostatic particular changes as the TMB from its initial true mean draft before the operation. Number two, okay? Using the initial hydrostatic particular base on initial true mean draft is less value po in particular to loading. Pag ginamit naman natin, if we use yung tinatawag natin na final true mean draft is more likely it's gonna be higher in calculation. Okay? Ito po sa number one. In number one, when loading or discharging of cargo takes place, yung mga hydrostatic particular such as MCTC, moment to change stream, uh, yung tinatawag natin na LCF, displacement, nagbabago po yan. Okay? Very obvious naman. Okay? First problem. MV Egeo is floating at initial drafts forward, 11.5 meters and a half, 11.7. In salt water density, 1.025 tons per cubic meter. She will load her balanced cargo of 1,000 tons in two holds, LBP 220. We need to find yung ating uh, average true mean draft, of course, and yung uh, mean draft correction, ITMD, bodily sinkage, FTMD, ATMD, and yung actual hydrostatic particulars, which I would be posting dito sa aking screen. Okay? Pag nakuha natin itong mga hydrostatic particulars such as TPC, MCTC, and LCF, okay, it's gonna be handy on the next uh, video natin sa next na mga, in our next computations. Okay, now, we're gonna solve the problem right now. Text, okay, number one, we need to find the mean draft. Okay, number one, we need to find the mean draft of the ship. Okay, mean draft. Okay. Now, forward plus F divided by 2. Okay? Very simple. Now, mean draft should be 11.5 plus 11.7 divided by 2. This is our mean draft. 11.6 MD is equals to 11.6. Okay? Next stop, ang ating correction. We need to find the correction. So what's the formula for our correction? Again, if you have seen my earlier videos, you will know. Trim times LCF divided by LBP, which is 220. Okay, there we go. Trim. Sige. Trim is very simple to find. Okay. 11.7 minus what's our uh, 11.5. Okay, forward drafts. 0 0.2. Okay, 0 0.2. Okay, times, what's the LCF? Okay, I'm gonna be posting the hydrostatic particulars here. It's gonna be, okay, let me just search. Okay, the LCF is 1.90. Okay, divided by 220. The answer will be 0 0.20 times 1.9 divided by 220. 0 0.002 the correction is okay correction is 0 0.002 okay now number three okay number three we need to find the itmd itmd okay so in order for us to find the itmd or initial true mean draft we have to add 11.6 plus or minus plus or minus with the correction which is 0 0.002 okay so 11.6 okay in this case we're gonna add okay it's trimmed by the stern now the ship is trimmed by the stern the rule is to uh plus if it's trimmed by the stern and minus if it's trimmed by the head okay so 11.6 okay plus 0 0.002 11.602 very obvious okay 11.602 for our ITMD number 4 okay we need to find the bodily sinkage okay what's the formula for bodily sinkage well again it's very simple again bodily sinkage is, should be weight divided by TPC times 100 okay so how do we find the uh, uh, the corresponding TPC the TPC Again, I'm gonna be posting the hydrostatic table here. Okay. Let me also check my copy. Okay. 
at 11.602 of ITMD okay 11.02 okay I do have a TPC of 65 okay yeah 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 I do have a TPC of 65.67 uh, okay 65.67 alright Eleven point zero. Oh, eleven point six zero two. Okay, sixty five point sixty seven. Yep. All right. Eleven point sixty seven. One thousand. Okay, this is one thousand tons. Okay, divided by an TPC natin. TPC. Okay, sixty five point sixty seven. Okay, times one hundred. Nayan equals. Okay. 1,000 tons oh, sorry sorry 65.67 times 100 okay now 65.67 1,000 divided by 65.67 there we go 0 0.15 okay this is the uh, what we call the bodily sinkage equals to uh, 0 0.15 Number five, okay. Now we have to find the FTMD, okay. We have to find. Now in other examples, it's going to be bodily rise. If you are discharging, in this case we are loading, okay. So that's why we put it bodily sinkage. FTMD, okay. We have to add eleven, okay. Same drill, eleven point zero six. Oh, eleven point six zero two plus. 0 0.15 okay plus or minus 0 0.15 okay in this case we are loading and trim by the stern so we have to plus pretty obvious okay now 11.602 okay 11.602 plus 0 0.15 11.752 okay 11.752 Right, this is your FTMD. Okay, and we need to find the average through mean draft. Okay, in order for us to find the ATMD, you just have to uh, plus ITMD and FTMD. Okay, so again, the ITMD is 11.602 plus FTMD 11.752 divided by 2. This is the average TMD, 11.68. Or in some cases, you could, you know, you could put 11.7. Uh, but in this case, I would put 11.68. Okay? Equals 11.68. Now, on your hydrostatic tables, okay, you need to find the actual hydrostatic particulars. Okay? Particulars. Okay. So, 11.68 ATMD, the average through mean draft. My answer is going to be, what's my TPC for that one? Let me check my hydrostatic table. Okay. 11.68. Okay. My TPC is 65.74. I do have a displacement of 71,000 tons. Okay. After loading 1,000 tons of cargo. My MCTC or moment to change trim is 1008.2 with an LCF of 2.01. Okay, so these uh, particulars are going to be handy to you uh, during and uh, for our future computations long term. Okay, so then again, these are just the basics. This isn't, this isn't some kind of uh, very difficult kind of uh, computation. But then again, hope you guys learned something new. Be happy, be healthy, and most importantly, to God be all the glory. Keep safe. Ingat kayong lahat. I am publishing my third officer crash course for our deck cadets and deck ratings who have little to no idea on how the job of a third mate is on board the ship. Sure, you can watch 60 to 70 or 80 of my videos here on my YouTube channel, but to save you time, okay, and energy, I have compiled this lesson 
for you to so save you time save you money save you energy and also i want you to be promoted during a quarantine okay because a lot of companies today are desperate on finding a competent third officer but then again mm, it's kind of difficult right now because everybody is in solitary confinement. I am here to guide you. So you will never experience having Philip. I am so scared of getting the next promotion as a third mate. Philip, I am so afraid of grabbing the next recommendation as a third mate. Well, then again, fear not. I am here to guide you on your next duty. Okay, again. Being a third mate is not that difficult on board the ship. The reason why it's difficult is because you lack the knowledge. On this third officer crash course, I have compiled a series of lessons for you. May you have the wisdom that you have been searching and I want you to be the next third officer of our country. I am publishing my bridge management manual for deck cadets and deck ratings. Now, this is a compilation of all the manuals, procedures, steps, wisdom that we have actually applied on board the ship. Unlike any other books that, you know, so much wisdom but you don't really use it on board. This bridge management manual that I have compiled, this was used actually applied on board our ship all you have to do is read it now this manual is a combination of gmdss refresher worth 4200 pesos generic actis refresher 2500 pesos ssbt refresher worth 2500 pesos now also this is also a com combined act this generic, okay, 3,000 pesos. SSBT with BRM worth 4,000 pesos. Third mate familiarization with full mission bridge simulator, 4,500 pesos. Passage planning with chart correction, 3,600 pesos. Radar navigation, radar plotting, and use of ARPA. Operational level, 5,200 pesos. Radar, ARPA bridge teamwork, and search and rescue management, 4,800 pesos. Radar simulator course, 4,100 pesos. Steering course, 1,500 pesos. Automatic identification system, 1,600 pesos. Shipboard safety operation for deck ratings, 4,100 pesos. Okay? I've stated a lot of courses here in this bridge management manual. Okay, this is, you know, this isn't only just limited for the bridge management, but also, you know, a snippet of other jobs on board the ship. Okay, now I have uh, compiled it here. Okay, and I will publish it. And now it's online for Google Play and or Gumroad. Okay, you can just pick whatever site you are comfortable at. Okay, may you have the wisdom that you wanted for your next position. If you are still, you know, you are a decadet or a deck rating, who are, you know, not really confident on your next job, you want to become a deck officer, this bridge management manual is for you for this price. Okay, I have compiled it. We have actually applied it on board. Okay, and you don't need to worry that much. All you have to do is read this manual and actually apply it. Now, if you have any questions, you could always hit me up okay, at onlinethirdmate at gmail.com. I will be active on answering all of your questions or confusion regarding your next job. May you become the third officer and second officer that you truly desire. Take good care.